Hey, it's Ryan from upfitsupply.com and in this video, we're gonna be unboxing some Duratherm ceiling liners for Ford Transit vans. Let's get into it. All right, well, the Ford Transit is offered in a bunch of different variations. They have three different lengths, they have three different roof heights. So there's just a lot of different options that you can get that all affect the product that you're gonna to wanna to order if you're looking at this. So this is for a Ford Transit with the 148 inch wheelbase and mid roof height. Now, as you can see, this is just a massive box and because of this, it has to ship on a pallet, which means LTL freight. So that means it's gonna take a little bit longer to ship to you. The shipping charge may also be a little bit more than what you're used to with like UPS, FedEx, in all of that so just take that into consideration when you're ordering this product now these do include all the hardware that you need just look for this little orange label that says hardware enclosed there's gonna be a red ribbon attached to it and you'll find your hardware attached right here now again these are sold as kits separate for the ceilings walls and doors so these are just the ceiling liners it's gonna be a separate kit that covers the walls or basically all of the interior that doesn't move with a door and then there's gonna be separate liners for the door liner. So there's three different kits if you wanna cover everything that you'll need to get for your van. So let me just take this out of the box real quick. Okay, a couple of components here. We do have a parts list, shows you everything that should be in the box, uh, included inside the box. Now, one thing on the box I didn't point out is there is a QR code. You can scan that with your phone and that's how you get the installation instructions. We're also gonna be installing this in the van behind me, so if you're interested in that, you can check out that video. Now we also have right here a joiner strip. I'm gonna talk about this in a second, but the main event in this package is going to be these liners. And so you can see this is a textured gray color Duratherm liners. The main part of these is going to be this plastic layer right here. It's like armor plates that's gonna protect the ceiling in the van. These are about mm, three eighths of an inch uh, thick and they're incredibly durable. They can take the hits. Now, if you know anything about cargo vans, obviously it's completely empty in the back of the cargo area. There's no interior from the factory. There's no wall paneling or anything like that. So you're talking about the sheet metal that's essentially the same sheet metal as the exterior of the van. And so when your supplies, your tools, your equipment and so on, shift in transit or during loading or whatever that may be, and you nick it and you dent it, that's really the exterior sheet metal you're talking about. Paint's gonna chip, corrosion, rust, all of that being introduced, resale value starts going down. So these really protect the interior of the van because there's no interior panels there. And so that's the primary benefit of these liners. Now what Legend did, because they're essentially covering all of the uh, interior of the van is they said, hey, let's put a layer of insulation behind it to help keep that road noise down, to con help control temperatures back there and so on. And so they added this as a bonus to these panels to just help cut down on that road noise and all that. So this is one of our ceiling panels right here. Now you can see, uh, depending on the angle that I hold this, is we do have, other side, we do have some cutouts right here that are probably for our factory LED lights. So if you do have lights from the factory installed, we do in ours, they do have cutouts so you can retain those lights. Now this scoring is just on one side, it's in the back. So it's basically a template for you to, to follow with a sharp razor blade to cut out this little piece of the ceiling liner. Now, if you do not have those lights or you're gonna install an aftermarket light, like we're actually going to do, you can't see that at all on the interior side of the panel. So again, this cuts out pretty simply. You just wanna use a sharp razor blade, take your time and cut that out and you'll get a nice clean cut. Now we can also see on this one, there is a little bit of scoring here on the edges. Usually that means you might have to do some bending because you know roofs on vans are not just straight across. They're usually kind of uh, curved because they want the water to, to pour off the edges and not just settle in puddles on the roof. And so, uh, Usually you do have to do some bending on the side of the liners to get them to fit in there. So they are pre-scored on one side again. So this is one of the ceiling panels. Now this is where the joiner strip comes into play is you're going to attach one panel with another panel using this joiner strip. And so this is just a piece of plastic material 
This is going to line up with the edge of one of these panels um, like this. Then you're gonna have your joiner strip and then you're gonna have your other panel. So it's gonna attach two panels together. Now the reason that they have to do that is the liner would be too big to ship or installation would be too hard or things like that. And so they have to separate those liners like that. So again, we have the rest of our ceiling right here. Again, we do have cutouts for our ceiling lights right there. You can tell we have holes right here where this is gonna attach into the cross member or the ribbing in the ceiling um, right here. And then I believe this is gonna be our forward side of the liner. Now I do wanna take a look up here because sometimes there is some scoring up towards where your partition is gonna be to accommodate things like foam blocks or other various configuration things that the Ford Transit may have because there might be slight variances from van to van and, and the accessories that they have. Uh, they make it easy to remove pieces of material if you need to remove it. Now, it's a lot harder to add material if you need it. And so that's why they give you the score lines to cut a piece of the, the liner away if you don't need it. So if I open this up, this is just gonna be super long for that 148 inch wheelbase right here. There is gonna be two fold lines in it because again, to ship something that huge would just be impractical. Um, so again, if I use this smaller piece as my demo piece here, again, primary benefit is going to be this plastic liner right here. This is gonna give you the protection. It's going to protect the interior of the vehicle. They've done ax tests and all of that. You basically have two layers of plastic and in the middle, you're gonna have this kind of fluting. It's, it's little circle bubbles that are spaced really closely together, together that are kind of a central core of this that make it super strong. And then on the back, you're gonna have that insulating material. And that's gonna be carried through. If you get the wall liners, it's also gonna have that on the back. And then the same thing with your door liners. Now these are offered in two different colors. We have the textured gray right here. So it's a gray color and then there's kind of a textured surface on top. You can also get it in white, but the white is just flat and smooth. It doesn't have the texture. Now the texturing, in my opinion, helps hide scuffs and scratches and dirt and things like that. Uh, the white, like anything white, it shows dirt really well, shows marks and scuffs and things like that. So this is appears a little bit more durable, but they're probably both just as durable. Just white shows those things a little bit more easily. So gray is definitely more popular. I'd say about 90% of our customers go with a gray option, but some do opt for that white. Now we do have our pre-cut holes right here. Usually in the ceiling, it's gonna be all push-in clips like this. So they give you these plastic clips. They're just like typical automotive interior clips, little Christmas trees. They're gonna go through the holes pre-cut up, they're gonna line up with holes that exist on the ceiling and you just clip them in place. You can go through with a little rubber mallet and tap those in so they're nice and tight. Um, but really simple installation. The hardest part is just getting that held up there and lining everything up. So if you have another set of hands to help you with the installation, that's really going to help. Now an optional add-on for the ceiling liners is going to be what are called the ceiling sills. Now. I recommend always getting these, but there are some cases where people don't want them. But what they really are is they're aluminum trim pieces that go along the corners between the wall and the ceiling. They give you a nice transition between wall liner and ceiling liner. You see, we have some diamond plate textured aluminum sills. Again, these sit in between the wall liner and the ceiling liner. They give you a nice transition between your wall and your ceiling. Otherwise, you're gonna have for transit, you're gonna have like a cavity or something showing uh, in the corners there that may look a little ugly and things like that. So this is really for aesthetic purposes um, to help you know, make it look like a more finished off space. So it looks like we have little four sills right here. So I'm assuming you're gonna attach two of them together and have one per side because we do have these little joiner strips in the kit. So again, you're gonna attach two of these together with this strip, you get all the hardware that you need, which is self-threading screws, to attach these together and to attach them to the vehicle. Now, most of the time, the ceiling sills actually attach to the liner and are held to the liner. 
in rare cases, these attach to the sheet metal in the van. And so these are pre-drilled with holes on them on where you're going to put your screws into the sills and into the liners. And if one lines up with a piece of sheet metal for good structural support, they'll utilize that and you'll go into a piece of the sheet metal in the van. But most of the time you're actually attaching these to the ceiling liner and the wall liner themselves and not to the actual metal on the van. Now, if you're looking for these ceiling liners or any other equipment to get your van ready for work, be sure to check us out, upfitsupply.com. Again, my name is Ryan and have a good one.